Hey everyone, Angels Batra this side. How are you doing? So now that we have successfully completed IPMAT 2022, it's time to look at our next target, IPMAT 2023. And to accomplish any great feat, the first step is to gather supplies, which in our case is books. Now many aspirants ask us what books they should use to prepare and practice for the IPMAT. So here we are bringing to you books for IPMAP preparation 2023. So let's get started. First up, we are going to be talking about the scariest section of them all, quantitative aptitude. Now, since we have an ample amount of time left to prepare for IPMAP 2023, I think 10 or 11 months, there's a lot of time. So what you can do is you start from the basics, brush up on your academic, if you want to go to the basics, we have two book suggestions for you, NCRT and RS Agarwal. You can try any of these books. They explain the core concepts very well. They'll explain the concepts, then they'll present you with a lot of examples and then a variety of exercises. Now the level of questions is not too high, so you can easily practice them and build a strong foundation for the subject. Once you're done practicing the basics, you can move to an intermediate level of questions or high level of questions. Just again, we have two book suggestions for you, Arun Sharma and teacher's personal favorite, Adi Sharma. You can try any of these books to practice high level of questions. This will help build efficiency in mathematics and solve a large variety of questions and you would not be bothered by the difficulty level. Also, now, since we consulted a lot of sources, there's one book that often came across which we found really interesting. It's a magical book on quicker maths by M. Tyra. A lot of sources recommended this book. So I looked through what, what makes this book so special. First things first, it'll do all the basics, right? It'll explain you the core concepts, it'll give you examples, it'll give you a lot of exercise, it'll give you solutions for the exercises. Now what this book does different also provides alternative solutions. One, you'll have the mainstream solution, the traditional method on how you can solve the questions. The next, you'd have a faster method. Speedy method, which is easy to apply, easy to learn. And we all know, IPMAT exam, time is everything, right? So this book is a must try. See if you can get this book. Coming on to the second section, we have verbal ability. Now, when you're studying for verbal ability, there are two sections that you should mostly be focusing on. Two things that you have to practice. Vocabulary and core grammar. Now, if we talk about vocabulary, a lot of sources, if you look up other sources on the internet or anything, a lot of sources recommend this book, and this book is a true masterpiece. Word Power Made Easy by Norman Lewis. This book has been in use for years now and what makes this book so special is that it is written in a conversational style and our brains are hardwired in such a way that you're more likely to understand and retain things that have been presented to you in a conversational style rather than something that has been presented as a lecture or just information. If you study this book thoroughly, which is a very high chance that you would remember most of the words that you study, the synonyms and antonyms. Now, the way the book explains the words to build your vocabulary is it goes back to the roots of the words, how they originated, their Greek roots, Latin roots, or whichever language they came from, how they used, what are the synonyms, their antonyms, everything. You ask for it, the book has it. So it's a really great book for you guys to try. Coming on to co-grammar, we have another teacher's favorite, Ren and Martin. Almost every teacher in every school, every English teacher would recommend this book to you, Ren and Martin, to study your co-grammar rules. And this book is a classic. It has helped so many people to track a variety of exams and this will help you too. It explains all the co-grammar rules very well, gives a lot of examples, a lot of practice exercises, it will help you strengthen your vocab, your verbal ability. So if you want a book, coming on to the third suggestion, if you want a book that focuses on both grammar and vocabulary, you can try this book, Brush Up Your English by S. T. Imam. Okay. This is a really great book, focuses on both vocabulary and co-grammar rules. 
So since it focuses on both of them, it's not as comprehensive as the previous two books, but it's still a pretty great book if you want to brush up on your concepts, you want to study more on your verbal ability, and you want to practice questions. So coming on to reading comprehension, I think the best way to practice reading comprehension is use internet sources. You get a large variety of reading comprehensions from the internet, so you can use those to practice. Coming on to LRDI. Now, IIP Mat Indore does not have a logical reasoning section, while JIP Mat and IIP Mat Rohatak do, and data interpretation is going to be there in all of these exams. Now, most of these practice books they combine the LR and the DI section. So, if you do consider buying the book, you will have it for all of these exams. Right? So, we have two books for you here: Logical Reasoning and DI for Cat by Pearson and Logical Reasoning in DI for Cat by Arun Sharma. You can try any of these books. They're really good. They explain the co-concepts very well. They offer a wide variety of examples, a lot of questions for you to practice and solutions to those questions. Okay, coming on to the final section of this video is the test series. Now, a lot of aspirants also come to us and ask if there's any specific books that they can get only for mocks or only for test series. So we look through it and there are two books that we would recommend. First is the Disha Publications mocks. As a lot of mocks that you can try out, you can solve, you can time yourself and practice these mocks and the level of questions is pretty good. It will give you a um, good practice, a good hold on your time, on your efficiency, on your accuracy. The other book that we would suggest is the Pearson test series. Again, it has a wide variety of mocks, good level of questions, and they offer the solutions as well. So you can see what, where you went wrong and see what you need to do better. So this is all I have for you today. I hope that this video helps you to select the book that is suitable to you, and you can start on an IPMAT preparation as soon as possible. If it did help you. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how you feel about these books. How this video was it, were we able to help you or not? And do consider liking and subscribing to your boy. We wish you all the very best for your IPMAT preparation for 2023. Goodbye.